it's the uh, winter warm-up season, Cornucopia 2014. We're at Nita Lake Lodge here in beautiful Whistler, BC. I'm Mark Smith of 30 Day Adventures, and my friend here... Steph Florian, Play Outdoors Vancouver, and this is Mark and I's first... Date. It's our first date. Yes, this it is. This is our first adventure date together. Cornucopia, watch out. I yeah. think oh, two adventures types. Ski season right around the corner. Well, and your expertise is really on the slopes, outdoors, getting, getting sweaty. sweaty, which I can't yeah. wait. Yeah, seriously, she's way fitter than I am. Squealing. Yeah, through there's the going to be a lot tomorrow. of squealing. Well, I squeal when a great meal comes in front of me, and that's what we're doing tonight. We're here Absolutely. at Nita Lake. We've just had a great tour of the property. We've checked in. We've got some gorgeous rooms, and uh, now we're going to go into their restaurant, Aura, that is going to prepare a great tasting menu for us. We've got lots of wine being poured, and uh, this is my kind of comfort and then we, adventure. We don't have to drive. There's yeah. a free shuttle yeah. into Whistler Village awesome. right after. So that's our plan. Yeah. We'll and then, then we're going to go there. explore. We'll do the night market and then tomorrow we'll zip down the mountain and you know, well, we'll just, we're going to have a gay old time I'm up here in Whistler. so excited about <laughs> opening day. <laughs> I'm excited about the wine. Let's go. <laughs> okay, enough, let's go. enough of this talk of snow. Let's go. <laughs> Mark, I am blaming my tummy full of tenderloin. <laughs> All on you. Fantastic. Well, we had a great meal at Aura, and now we're here at the Whistler Conference Center for our first, I guess, really official cornucopia event together, and we're here for the night market. We got our passport. And I heard there's a lot of sake here and plum wine. Oh, fantastic. I, I do know that there's like 12 different vendors. It's like a little miniature Richmond night market without the dim sum. Okay, so apre tenderloin, Mark. <laughs> Um, well, we're, this is not our first rodeo, uh, so, you know, basically this is when you pull out your second stomach for food events and, you know, and like honestly just go for it. Like, you know, you can diet and have an apple tomorrow. So that's my, that's my strategy is I'm just going to keep eating tonight so that if I'm too full, tomorrow will just be an apple day and that's how I will balance it all. So Mark, you're, you're awfully silent. What's, what's going on in your party in your mouth? Um, this has been fantastic. You know, I mean, it's a great taste of the world. Um, definitely Carmen Cucina, Rio Brazil, and the Prairie Pierogi, co Prairie Cottage Pierogies from Langley. Amazing. And um, I don't have a lot of room left in my stomach, but the last bite, the last little bit of room is for pierogi. Well, same room for the, uh, the luncheon tomorrow, the four-course, three-hour cornucopia luncheon we're signed up for. So Mark's about to go into a food coma tonight, and then we'll see him again for chapter two manana but i will be woken up by the whiskey revolution later in the afternoon i mean it just never stops at cornucopia there's something like every couple of hours there's something new